Join me as we take a look inside the open cases of the El Paso Police Department's Homicide Unit. The El Paso Police Department, together with Crime Stoppers of El Paso and Access Multimedia, are asking for your help in finding those responsible for the murder of a rising music artist, Terrence Lamont Kennard, also known as TK. It's a lot of fond memories. The most memorable memory that I have is like, when I said he's fun, loving, happy-go-lucky, the life of the party, um, would do anything for anybody. He went to the School of the Arts in uh, Jacksonville, Florida, in middle school. I knew he used to like to rap, but I didn't know that that was like his passion. I didn't learn that it was his passion until his senior year, because he had a baseball scholarship. I found out that he hadn't signed the paperwork yet and mailed it back. So. When I got the call from the school, like they were still waiting on the paper, I went and talked to him, asked him why hadn't he signed the paperwork, and then about an hour later, he came and knocked on the room door and told me and my wife, like, um, he didn't want to play baseball, that he wanted to pursue music. On uh, January 26, 2019, at about uh, 11.40, late evening, uh, we, the Northeast substation received a call on uh, shots fired. My son's daughter, mother, called. She was hysterical. She was screaming. And um, I couldn't understand what she was saying. But then I just heard, heard her say she, he dead. Uh, patrol units arrived and found the uh, victim had sustained multiple gunshot wounds and was deceased on the scene. Then I went trying to find out where it happened at because she didn't know where it happened. She just knew that it happened. Shortly after midnight, the Crimes Against Persons Unit was notified and we did respond to the scene to take over the investigation. The unit that took this investigation uh, needs the public's assistance. Um, this is a situation where uh, the victim was found shot. Um, we learned that there was a, a party that was supposed to take place a couple of houses away from the shooting scene. So we know that there was more people uh, that were present during the time that uh, this incident took place. Uh, and uh, we need the public's help in at least identifying some witnesses so we can keep this investigation moving forward and to bring some closure to uh, Mr. Kennard's family. The people that are saying that they're his friends and saying that they care about him and they love him and they miss him, and things of that nature, you can't miss him if you're not talking. And it's one thing to, to talk and lie on somebody, but it's another thing to talk and tell the truth. And those that know something, Please don't say to my son is your friend. Don't say you love my son. Don't call him your brother and you're not cooperating with the detectives to bring justice to his name. We have witnesses that explained that uh, when the victim arrived, they bypassed where the party was. So they kind of walked past the, the, the scene where the party would be. He left behind two kids, a loving family, and some real loving friends. Unfortunately, those friends are not here and they can't, there's nothing that they can do about it. But the ones that call themselves his friends and loved ones here in El Paso, who knows what happened, need to speak up. Was speaking to two individuals that we know of, um, and we suspect that these two individuals are, are shooters. Um, some kind of exchange happened where uh, a weapon was brandished and Mr. Kennard was fatally shot. Um, all we know is a brief description. Uh, Two males, uh, black males, one in the 30s, one in the 20s. Um, the one that's uh, approximate age of 30, it was said to be uh, heavy set with a beard, and the male in the 20s was said to be very tall and very skinny. Um, possible vehicles that were, were seen fleeing the scene was a small gray four-door vehicle, maybe a Nissan, maybe a Toyota, um, but that's pretty much where the leads end at that point. And even with him no longer here on this earth, every now and then, I feel him touching me on my shoulder, telling me it's gonna be all right, he all right. Help us find the persons responsible for TK's murder. If you have information on this case, please call through Crime Stoppers of El Paso at 566-8477. That's 566-TIPS. You will remain anonymous, and if your information leads to an arrest, you may qualify for a cash reward.